And he says, um, you know, you have more than a hemorrhoid, you have a tumor or cancer or something like that, just like that. And the doctors told me, you know, that I was never going to live to see the age of, you know, 10, 15, 20. It scared me. That scared me. It's scary to look at, uh, to wrap your head around that fact. I was just too sick to hide anything anymore. and I couldn't get to work. I'd have to turn around and go home and, and clean up. And I would call my friends, my guy friends, and they would come carry me to the bathroom. There were times I laid in bed, you know, crying, thinking to myself, you know, how am I going to get through this? We didn't even know what an ostomy was and that she needed to have it to survive. And he said, you'll have a, a permanent colostomy. And I said, colostomy, like the bag thing? And that was something I definitely didn't want to happen. And my thought was, I do not want an ostomy, something hanging off of me, and anything I could possibly do to keep myself quote unquote normal is what I wanted to try to do. It took about a year before I could joke about having colon cancer. And even these days now when I perform in comedy shows, I dare to go there with, with comedy because I want people to realize that colonoscopies are really important. And it took me until about a year after my surgery before I really felt completely back to normal. And I tell people that. I think most of it is based on ignorance because I would give them anesthesia, they'd go home and I'd never know anything about their life after that. Lo and behold, they diagnosed me with, uh, with Crohn's and I reluctantly gave them permission, dreading the fact that I would wake up with an ileostomy. And I did. I was wondering if I'd ever play golf again. Now I play golf every day. Um, I do hockey, track, and basketball, and soccer. Well, I like going like and walking around and stuff with Dad. Things that normal average kids do. You know, I play football on the weekend sometimes, you know. Of course, my mom thinks I'm crazy doing that. It's just something that, you know, I'm comfortable with. And an ostomy just, it doesn't prevent me from doing anything at all. In the last 18 months, I started playing um, hockey again, checking league and everything. I am an active state trooper. I wear a 30-pound gum belt. Um, basically, I tell everybody, what you want to do, you could do. Uh, I've been rock climbing for about two and a half years. I feel like I'm climbing better than I was when I was 34, and healthy, and without an ostomy. You know, caving is a thing that I love doing. After I recovered, now I can do this again. It's absolutely wonderful. You know, I crawl through places, I, I go up and down on ropes to get into vertical caves. It's a huge adjustment to go from being the sick person to being the well person. I think that's the bigger adjustment than having an ostomy, you know. But once you finally reach a point of accepting everything and feeling positive about everything, um, you kind of feel like you can climb over any rocks and <laughs> hike up any mountains and just keep going from there. I saw the doctor so much in that time of preparation. I started calling him the rear admiral. Not to his face, just you know, for fun. And then the morning of surgery, the rear admiral comes in and, and um, I had to ask him, do you think it's really a good day for surgery? And he said, why do you ask? And I said, well, you've got those little pieces of tissue stuck to your face. 